to Diesel France and welcome to our colloquium. This is the number 36 and it will be again in Paris in the same building where we always... Today I would like to give you a quick overview of what you can expect from these three days of intensive professional development. And following this little introduction, we will regularly publish teasers on our TESOL France website and the TESOL France YouTube channel. And if you watch these teasers, it will help you decide which is the talk that you are the most interested in out of those 90 that we will offer you. Every colloquium is different. This year, we have chosen the theme Language Connects People because we believe that this little phrase highlights one of the most important, if not the most important aspect of our world work, which is the fact that we teach people. And without connecting with people, without connecting with individuals, our work, our teaching wouldn't be possible. And what we teach is a tool, is a tool that our learners on their turn will use to connect with other people, to connect with different ideas, to connect with different conditions of life in different parts of the world. All the three plenary speakers have demonstrated in their work the importance of these connections. The colloquium will be opened on Friday at 4 o'clock by Marjorie Rosenberg, former president of IOTEFL and current vice president of IOTEFL, and she will share her extensive knowledge on how every single individual in our class is different. They all have different needs, different skills and different preferences and she will show us how we can adapt our teaching to embrace these differences for a successful learning. Our second plenary speaker on Saturday morning at 10 o'clock is going to be Stephen Ryan. Professor Ryan teaches at the School of Culture, Media and Society at Waseda University in Tokyo and he has dedicated over 25 years of research to the relationship between psychology and language learning. In his plenary talk at TESOL France, he will talk about motivation, the role of emotions, the role of group formations in our classrooms where individuals learn together. Sunday will be a special day in terms of the program. When putting together the program, we have listened to your requests from last year and we try to assemble all those talks that might be of interest to teachers who teach in primary schools, middle schools or high schools for Sunday. So the day will start at 10 o'clock with the plenary by Marie-Hélène Fasquel Erhardt, who is a practicing high school teacher in Nantes at the International High School. Marie was among the top 40 finalists for the teacher, Global Teacher Prize Award this year. She went to Dubai for the award ceremony. And in 2013, she was awarded the UNESCO Prize for Innovation. In her plenary, she will open up her classroom and she will let us have a sneak peek into her everyday teaching and she will, she will uh, show us many, many examples of projects that she ran with her students. In each project, she was connecting students with other students around the world or she was connecting her students with authors that they were studying in a literature class. All this with the help of 21st century technology tools. The three-day conference will feature 81 sessions, 81 excellent presentations. The choice will be very difficult to make. Just to mention a few topics, if you are interested in business English, using technology, using online resources in your classes, teaching for exams, using graded readers, using music, developing cultural competence, bringing in global issues into the classroom, well, many, many topics that can all be very useful Monday morning, immediately after the conference, when you return to your classes. We also invite you to participate in three panel discussions. The first one will be on the issue of native versus a non-native speaker teacher. It will be led by Susan Holden and Andreas Grundtvig. Susan Holden is the editor of the book The Non-Native Teacher by Peter Medjesh, who was our plenary speaker last year. I hope that many non-native speakers will join the discussion and will have a lively debate around this very, very relevant issue, especially in France. The second panel discussion will be a follow-up on last year's panel discussion on the role of teachers' associations in Africa. If you remember, last year we ran a crowdfunding campaign 
to bring three teachers from three African countries to join us. Well, thanks to these connections, this year we didn't have to run the campaign and we have six African teachers coming to join our conference at TESOL France and the panel discussion will see how teachers associations help teachers to connect across the continent. All the six teachers are members of TESOL Africa with whom TESOL France has established a very good working relationship over the past year. The third panel discussion will give you the opportunity to engage with the idea of bringing global issues into your teaching and into your classrooms. This panel discussion will create a space, a framework for exchanging with other teachers, exchanging practices, exchanging ideas on how the best we can raise awareness in our students of the major issues our world is facing and they are going to face in their lives. As every year, the colloquium also gives space to an exhibition area. This year we are very lucky, we have 21 publishers who book the stand, so it will be a very large and very rich collection of resources that you can look at firsthand, you can uh, talk with the publishers. You will find graded readers, you will find language games, you will find online materials, materials for test preparation, anything you wish to make your life easier as a teacher. The three days will create many, many opportunities when you can connect with old friends, new friends during the networking moments. And our organizing team will make sure this year that you have enough coffee, cheese and wine to stay stimulated. We also have some surprises for you for Friday and Saturday evening. And if you would like to have a relaxing moment during the colloquium, please bring a beach towel with you. The colloquium program is published on our website. You can download it and you can pre-select the talk, which is the closest to your heart. We have 90 sessions, so please do your homework before you come. And if you are a speaker and you would like to send a teaser to be published, then please do it before the 30th of October and send it to Jessica and Jeremy. They will be happy to publish it on the TESOL France website and the TESOL France YouTube channel. Have a relaxing month of October, a relaxing two weeks in November, and see you on the 17th November in Paris for a great, great conference again.